let's transform this plain white long cami into a cool graphic top with tassels and beads. For this DIY you will need a longer white top or a t-shirt, a star shape printout, self-adhesive paper, scissors, fabric paint, plastic container to put the paint on, sponge applicators, beads and a pencil. Start by cutting a star shape from your printout. Place it on the piece of self-adhesive paper and trace the silhouette using a pencil. We're doing the same thing as we did with the hard top, remember? Cut the star out of your self-adhesive paper and here's your stencil for the shirt. Stick your shape on the center of your top like this. Time for the exciting part, fabric paint. I decided to go for two colors, a blue and pink. Start off with the blue one. Dip a rounded sponge applicator in the fabric paint and start making big dots on the edge of the star. The purpose is to cover the edge almost completely and then make gradually fewer and fewer dots as you move away from the star. Let's now add some pretty pink dots on the empty spaces. Also, as you can see, the dots on the edge should kind of go a little bit over the star, so that when you remove the sticker, it will look like there's an explosion of colorful dots behind the star silhouette. Time to remove our star stencil and reveal our cool design. I can tell that it will look absolutely amazing. See? I told ya! But we're not done with this top yet. We still need to make a beaded fringed bottom. Cut away the bottom hem and then start cutting thin vertical stripes up to the masking tape. I'm cutting my front and back fabric together to save me some time. Now this already looks pretty awesome if you ask me, but we still have to add beads for an even more amazing detail to our top. Before proceeding, give your fringe a nice tuck to get rid of the freshly cut look. This part is basically similar to the lace hard top, but the fringe will be different because we'll be using beads instead of knotting the tassels together. Take your hammer beads or other beads of your choice and cut them using scissors. This will make it easy to thread them on the fringe as you can open the bead like so. Take two fringe strands and slide a bead on. I'm using scissors to help me open the hammer bead and slide the bead on the tassels. Continue making these beaded pairs of tassels along the entire row until all of your front fringe is grouped in pairs. For the second row you have to take one tassel from the first pair and one tassel from the second pair, add a bead and slide it half of an inch lower than the first row of beads. Continue doing this along the entire row. Make the third row using the same technique. Take one fringe string from the first pair and one from the second pair, bind them together by sliding on a bead. Then combine the remaining tassel from the pair 2 and one tassel from the pair 3 and so on until you end up your third row. Repeat these steps on the back of your shirt and you're all done! See how absolutely out of this world awesome this tassel design looks? I'm so happy with this top, I cannot even explain it. So I'm just gonna shut up. No, I'm not. <laughs> Fringe is a huge trend this season. I have seen it all over the shops, but I don't even care what's in and what not because I love fringe every summer. 